Banishers Ghosts of New Eden is a brand new action role-playing game from the developer company Don't Not that got well known by the release of Vampire, or Vampire as you prefer, back in 2018. In Banishers you are given the opportunity of playing as a ghost, haunting detective in a story full of action and hard choices. With a combat system that has notorious inspiration from some other big titles such as God of War or even Witcher 3, it is noticeable that is not as polished and sometimes, especially in the beginning, can come off as a bit repetitive. However, having in consideration that this is a title from an independent company, that it passed a bit under the radar still, it has some major aspects that honestly don't cause the negative ones to become a deal breaker when it comes to play and enjoy it. Without entering too much detail not to spoil you guys, in this game we play with two main characters that we can often switch in between that need to search for clues to solve haunting cases. In these cases, you'll often have to make some bigger and smaller decisions that can lead into different paths crucial to the end of the game. And let me tell you, it won't be easy. In my opinion, they made a great job when it comes to writing. You will have to choose to either help or condemn people that can be haunted, causing hauntings, etc. Nothing is 100% good nor 100% evil, so basically you'll be facing a lot of great characters and situations that will make you question yourself. Regards the world and ambience itself, it recalls a lot God of War, being wild linear but having still a lot to explore despite not being a full open world game and with some amazing background music that plays along and helps me to get immersed in it, as you need to search for gear and materials that can be found in trees, rocks, chests, etc. in order to complete rituals and upgrade some gear itself. Graphically wise, it still has some glitches and some of the side characters seem a bit more stiff than the main ones, having as well some parts that the dialogues seem a bit out of sync, however it doesn't seem like a big deal and certainly there will be some improvements along the way. Overall, and if you are a paranormal enjoyer like me, I would 100% recommend you for you to play this game, as I've been having a blast with it. If you want to see more of it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, as I'll be posting my walkthrough here on YouTube, or simply join me on Twitch for some live-action ghost haunting cases. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around. Bye!